<coughs> What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. Hey, we made it. Uh, we made it to the end of 2018. Damn, I can't even speak. Uh, but we made it, man, to, to the end of 2018. Uh, with that being said, we've also made it to the end of December. Um, which means this is the last video of 2018, which means this is also the last video of Reactness until next December. Uh, now, what is this video about, you may ask? You just read that damn title, so you know what this video is about. Basically, look, um, y'all know how much I love music. Um, basically, obviously, you know how much I, re I react to music. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, my love of music is, is deep. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've listened to a whole lot of music, you know what I'm saying, over this last year. Um, with that being said, if my camera, wow. Wow, that. All right, we good. I think we good, hold on. Wait a second. All right, back in focus. All right. So that happened. Um, with that being said, man, with my love of music and everything, um, look, basically, we are going to go over a list of some of the best albums um, when, when it comes to like rap albums that have been released this year, hip hop, pop, R&B, all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of the top albums that I personally like um, and some of the albums that I don't. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but before we get into the list, I'm going to say it. This is just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? These albums that I'm going to name are just my opinion. So, if y'all got some albums that y'all love and some of the albums you hate, you know what I'm saying? Leave them down below. All right? Uh, smash the like button as well. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed to the channel. And make sure you got your post notifications turned off. Um, but let's hop right into the video. So, I think we are going to start with rap first and work our way into other type of genres. Um, my favorite rap album of 2018, I would have to say, would be Travis Scott's um, brand of... Fuck, what the... Fuck. Hold on. What the fuck? All right, before I was rudely interrupted, um, Travis Scott, all right, um, Astro World. Look, this album, I'm gonna say it, was absolutely incredible. The versatility in this album was amazing. I feel like the delivery on every song was something that um, Travis Scott met. You know what I'm saying? He met my requirements for the, the list. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would've put this on my worst um, albums of 2008, 2018 list, but the fact that there was so many bangers and like when I listen to this album, I I don't remember me skipping a single song. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's albums where you sit there and you're like, eh, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this maybe this song will grow on me, maybe it won't. You know what I'm saying? Then you have to skip that song that you don't like. I sat through Astro World the entire time and didn't have to skip it. When it first came out, I was like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's my number one favorite album of the year. Um, number two, we are going to go with Swimming by Mac Miller. Um, rest in peace, Mac Miller. Um, now, when, when this album dropped, it came out the same time as Astro World dropped. You know, and, and Twitter was going on that. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas that are Travis Scott fans was over there. Nah, we listening to Astro Road over here. Like, God damn, all right, my nigga. Like, God damn. You know, I think as well, it was um, YG's album dropped that, that same day or whatever. Um, but Mac Miller's Swimming album, which is his last album ever, um, was also another one of my favorites this year because of the versatility and, like, 
I don't know. Something about that album really connected with me. Like, I feel like there's so many albums this year that I feel like have connected with me, which is why I put them on this list. If I could speak without getting interrupted, that'd be perfectly fine, right? Um, I don't know why my fucking goddamn this group chat want to blow up all of a sudden. That's fine. What the? Uh, damn, what I uh, just, just based off of Mac Miller's versatility and the way that you know what I'm saying, he he was able to you know what I'm saying connect with, with his fans in this album. I I feel like you know, like I said with with Astro World, I'm gonna say the same thing with um with swimming. I sat through the entire thing and every song I listened to, I felt like was a banger. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might not feel the same way, you know? Um, but that album really had me going through my emotions. I was like, God damn, this, this album deep as hell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, number three, my third favorite album of 2018 would have to be um, by Takeoff. It's called The Last Rocket. Y'all, y'all know how how the Migos has been this year, um, dropping um, their their solo albums. Um, I would say take off, take off. So far, has had the best album out of the three. Uh, we still have yet to see what Offset's going to drop. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens with that one. Um, but take off. I'm gonna say that this album was better than, than Quavo's. Quavo's is probably the worst. You know what I'm saying? That's on my worst list. I'm saying that album was terrible. You know what I'm saying? But for the last rocket, I sat there. Them shits was fire. I was in the, you know what I'm saying? Like like when, when the homies would pull up and we would go somewhere, that album was playing. You know what I'm saying? I had to have that album playing. You know why? Because it was nothing but heat on that album. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Um so shout out to Takeoff. For, for releasing, you know what I'm saying, quality over quantity, you know what I'm saying? Um, that shit um, actually impressed me, you know? Because they they can show that they're not like always having to depend on um, the other two, you know what I'm saying? We, we wanna be able to, to listen to one and see if he can like deliver by himself without having to deliver to, um, to not deliver, but depend on Quavo or depend on Offset, you know what I'm saying? So with Takeoff, when I listened to this album, I was like, oh, maybe he is the best Migo, you know what I'm saying? My, my opinion, that's just me. <clears throat> next up, I, hey, next up, man. Next up, what is this, number four? Best album of 2018 for me, uh, number four on my list i know i might just sound like a simp but we are going to go with drake's album scorpion um y'all know every year how, how that nigga drake be that nigga drake always delivers an album sometime in, in the year whether it be late new and like towards the middle of the year that nigga just drops an album whenever he wants um Obviously, y'all know certain songs on that, on that album. Um, to me, certain songs on that album got played out after a while, but it still was a good-ass album, which is why it made my list, you know what I'm saying, of, of favorite albums of 2018. Um, you know, you had you had the Kiki Challenge. Um, that shit, that shit actually um, was one of the most, most viral hits of 2018 um you had a, a michael jackson feature out of fucking nowhere do you know what i'm saying um let me see if i can pull this up real quick for y'all because <clears throat> y'all let me see With, without getting copyrighted i'm, I'm gonna try try my I'm 
Okay. Wow. So that's it. So that's a thing now on YouTube? Wow, Drake. Disappointed. I was trying to pull out that song. Um, should be up in here though. Summer Games, nice for what? Ratchet, happy birthday. Hey, Ratchet, happy birthday. I didn't like that song. That was one of the songs for me on that on this album where I was like, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this one. This this might be a skippable song. You know what I'm saying? The the album was fire. I'm not I'm not gonna take it off this list. But I'm just saying. Uh, why is it saying I need music premium with art? Wow. Um, I'm in my feelings because I don't have um, premium music premium. You know what I'm saying? I'm really in my feelings. Like. Like, Drake is out here finessing me and playing summer games with me. You know what I'm saying? Got me in my feelings. There was no pun intended with um, any of that. But no, man. Um, the delivery on every song on this album was absolutely amazing. I, the versatility, everything from the Michael Jackson feature. Like I said, that song was absolutely incredible. You know what I'm saying? One of the best songs on the album to me. You know? Uh, one of the best albums overall of 2018 um, to me. Moving on. Moving on, man. Hey, you know you know who I would have on this list? I'm going to just say it. I would have Lil Uzi Vert on this list if he actually dropped a goddamn album. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we got Eternal a take any time in 2018, you know what I'm saying, when it, when it was first rumored to release... I would have goddamn had the goddamn album on my goddamn list, but but no, I gotta wait till to see if they they gonna release it in 2019. But moving on, man, we gotta go with X. Um, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. Both um, his new album Skins and Question were some of the best albums of 2018 to me. Um, yes, Skins was short, um, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But I still feel like there was a lot of, of depth. You know what I'm saying? The, the songs was obviously short, but I still feel like even though they were short, they still had a whole lot of meaning to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were only like a minute long. I think the, I think the longest song was what? Like three minutes? Maybe two? But, like, the, the, the quantity and the, and the versatility of the album, you know what I'm saying, was, was something that I could relate to, you know? Like I feel like, like Train Food, that song, deep as hell. You know what I'm saying? Deep as hell. One of the deepest songs I ever heard. That shit had me in my feelings. Had me went wanting to cry and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, goddamn. Hey. Um, question, question to me. Um, before his death, obviously was um, one of the songs I was I was listening to that song when I first heard the news. You know what I'm saying? Like I was listening to that song the day before. You know what I'm saying? He he passed away, type shit. Like goddamn. You know, I I was in my room just just vibing out. You know, um. So that that album to me has a whole lot of meaning, um, which is why it's one of my favorite songs of, of this year. Now, I guess we should we should keep it within the keep it within the group here. So. Number six. Number six. We are going to go with Ski Mask, the Slump God, Stokely, the album. Um, look, man, a whole lot of people. I know, I know a whole lot of people don't like, you know what I'm saying, the the mumble rappers or the or the niggas that like to scream a lot in their songs. You know what I'm saying? So niggas don't really like Ski Mask the Slump God because he's a screamer, you know what I'm saying? He, and he's a mumble rapper. Like shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like this is one of the albums where he showed his versatility. You know, he can sing and he can rap. You know what I'm saying? Like there was them type of songs where he was screaming. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? There was still some of them, some of them songs in there. But he also, you know what I'm saying, showed like I'm not just a rapper. You know, I can sing if I want to. I can also rap. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Don't get twisted. Um, 
which is why I fuck with the with the album. Um, certain songs on this album, like if I have to have music uh, premium. Okay, I don't have to have music premium. Certain songs like Nuketown featuring uh, Juice World. We're going to get into that album as well. Um, that song was amazing. You know what I'm saying? That song was a banger. Um, so High, great, great song. If y'all, by the way, haven't listened to any of the albums that I've um, said so far, you need to go ahead and do that. Um, we had songs like La La. That's one of my favorite songs on the album. I could listen to that song all day if I wanted to on repeat. Um, no cap. Uh, what else? Let's see. Shit. Got Geeked. Reborn the Rebel, Faucet Failure. Faucet Failure was an incredible um, song. And and then there there was that one song that I told y'all about when I first made like the album review video on this album when it first dropped. Um, Cat Piss. I still I still laugh at, at that name. Um, but the album is just so amazing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ski Master Slum God, man. Um, moving on. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get into the let's get into the pop type R and B um, side of albums for 2018. Moving on, we got Khaled with Sun City. Um, look, man, Khaled Khaled is is really talented. You know what I'm saying? Um, this album was incredible. You know, some of my favorite songs on there. Better um, Saturday Night. I feel like those two are like mainstream. You know what I'm saying? Like certain. Certain niggas gonna be in the comment section. You only like the mainstream songs on the album. Nigga, no, the album, the album is overall great. You know what I'm saying? I fucks with the album overall. I just like them songs. You know what I'm saying? I can vibe to them songs more than certain songs on this album. It's just, it's just a certain, a certain album to me that I just can't skip a song. Like, nigga, a nigga can vibe to every song on this album. It's just I like them songs more. Um, other songs you got on this album. You got, oh, also you got Vertigo. Vertigo was a banger. Um, you got Motion. You got Sun City featuring Empress of. Um, and then you got, what is it, 913? Banger, banger album. If y'all ain't listening to Khaled, um, Sun City, go ahead and do that. Moving on. I would also say Chris Brown. Um, but he hasn't dropped the album, um, which is perfectly fine. If y'all don't know, I'm a, I'm a huge Chris Brown fan for um, those that want to know. Um, moving, moving on, moving on. We are going to go with an album that Chris Brown was featured on, LMA by LMA. <laughs> um, y'all know I already reacted to this album. I didn't want to play it. Um, I reacted to this album. I'm not reacting to the album, but I reacted to um, what you call it by Chris Brown and LMA. Uh, well, LMA featuring Chris Brown, um, which is obviously my favorite song on the album. There's also um, good, bad, dangerous songs like um, "Goddamn Boot Up," the fucking banger of 2000, <laughs> 2018. Hey. Niggas was in their feelings in 2018 with this song, Goddamn Boot Up. Boot Up was that uh, goddamn song, my nigga. Um, by the way, if I say my nigga, I'm not speaking to the females. I, lo I love my female subscribers as well, man. Um, shout out to y'all. Um, but what you call it to me, the obvious banger on this album. Y'all can call me biased if you want. Y'all can call me biased if you want to because I'm a Chris Brown fan, so obviously I'm gonna put that one at the top of my list um, on this album. Um, you had songs like Cheap Shot, Banger, Shot Clock was also another banger to me. Um, I've related to this album, you know what I'm saying? Um, certain songs on this album to me was absolutely amazing. She did a song with John Legend called Everything. That shit was, that, that song, incredible. You know what I'm saying? Versatility, another versatile artist that showed her versatility with this album. Um, this was her debut album, so, 
You know what I'm saying? I feel like she had a lot to prove. Um, moving on. What are we on? On album number eight? Sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Album number eight. Ah, golly. See, all right. I I guess we gonna keep keep it within the female female section now. Um, number eight. Who do I want to go with? I'm I'm gonna say Sweetener. I would say Sweetener with Ariana Grande. Um. Now this album. This this was that album. I I fussed with this one. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think I skipped. I don't think I skipped a song yet on this album. And this album been out how long? How long has this album been out? Two. Let me check. It's been out since October. Um, I don't think I skipped a song. A song in this album. Um, once again. I think this is so far, this album has been um, Ariana Grande's best album to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, from songs like Good Night and Go, to Every Time, to God is a Woman, to Breathing, uh, to what else we got on here? The Light is Coming with Nicki Minaj. Actually, I fucking hate that. Well, I, I don't hate the song, I just hate uh, Nicki Minaj. Um, Nicki Minaj's verse is terrible, so I feel like she could have do without um, Nicki Minaj in that song. Um, songs like REM, which was a, um, it's, I think it was it was a song for Mac Miller. Um, you got songs obviously, Sweetener, um, songs like Successful, which was the um, which is which is the word I'm looking for to describe this damn album. A successful album for Ariana Grande. Um, songs like "No Tears Left to Cry," which was um, one of the one of the first songs she released off this album as one of her singles. You know what I'm saying? To like, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Push the album uh, when it came out. So look, man. Um, oh, and then you have songs like "Better Off." Um, the album to me was absolutely amazing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just love this delivery. I love every song on this album. Um, I don't know. I, I really. You had raindrops. What? It was raindrops and angel pie. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was that was a good way, good ass way to end the end the um, album. I I fucks with the vocals. The vocal delivery on this album as well. Can we actually talk about that for a second? Like, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Bless, bless me, bless me, please, with your vocals. Speaking of vocals, we are gonna go ahead and um go on here to number. I think this number nine, right? Number nine. Y'all, y'all know it. Look, look, y'all know. Y'all know I had to do it. Y'all know I had to add this artist in here. I wasn't going to end this video without talking talking about this artist. Uh, Y'all know I wasn't going to end this video without talking about this artist. We are going to talk about Sabrina Carpenter. Um, look, y'all, and I know, um, I know this is only singular act one. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the whole entire album ain't even out. You know what I'm saying? We still got half the album left. To listen to um which is coming out next year you know what i'm saying the second half act two if y'all don't know is coming out early in 2019 um but like i said i wasn't gonna end this video without talking about the album um underrated an underrated artist but a very very great album um i've followed sabrina carpenter for since she's been with Disney Channel, you know what I'm saying? Even before she went, even before she left um, Disney Channel, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
So I've been there when she dropped, you know what I'm saying, her, her debut EP and her debut album with Eyes Wide Open. And then I was there from last year, when she, or not last year, but two years ago when she dropped Evolution. And this year when, when Singular came out, finally, you know what I'm saying? Um, this album to me was that motherfucking album. You know what I'm saying? There were so many goddamn anthems and so much fucking goddamn times where, where I just had my, my fucking goddamn soul snatched up out of my body because of certain songs on this album. Like if I had to tell y'all right now how many, the songs that, that snatched my soul, I would say Almost Love. I reacted to that song so many times this year. Um, it's fucking cold as hell. Paris, love that music video. Almost love in Paris are, are, are those music videos. Um, but Paris, hold tight, a fucking bop. Um, sue me. I already told y'all, I'm suing Sabrina for snatching the fuck out of my damn soul and my damn hair, making me go bald and shit. I had to get a perm one time just because I listened to this song and my hair caught on fire. Um, perfect. A fucking word to describe this damn perfect ass album. Um, bad time. It's never a bad time for her to release a damn album, ever. Um, on the Lisa, we, we can just go ahead. Diamonds are forever, you know what I'm saying? Um, every song on this album was so fucking great. Um, this album, and I can't even, you know what I'm saying? I can't even wait for the act two, you know what I'm saying? She actually teased, I think she teased something last night in her recap of 2018 because she had made like an Instagram story making a recap of 2018 and like, oh, the thing she's done is she's done over the year. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she teased something from Act 2, you know? And I was trying to listen, you know? It was like a video of her in the studio, but it was only like such a like 15 second video or something. I was like, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Can't wait for that album to drop. For the rest of this album. Um, and yeah, man. Look, um, we are going to end this video. I think... Um, that's only number nine, huh? So I got one more, one more to go. Ah. But... Um, this was this to me was that album when it comes to like females, you know what I'm saying, that have dropped albums this year. This this was that album. And I wasn't going to end this video without talking about it. Um, hope y'all are enjoying this video by the way. Subscribe to the channel, like this video by smashing the like button and giving it a thumbs up. Turn on the post notifications as well. Um, if you ain't done that already. Um, and leave some um albums that y'all enjoyed so far this year. Um or have hated, you know what I'm saying? I think we are going to end this video with another one of my favorite female artists. Like I said, I would have added Chris Brown in this video, but we, we're not going to talk about him. I mean, I still listen to Heartbreak on the Full Moon, but to, to this day, I still listen to this, to this day. You know what I'm saying? To this day, I still listen to Chris Brown, um, Heartbreak on the Full Moon. Um, I listen to every Chris Brown album to this day. Um, can't wait to, to he drop an album next year. Um, but we're going to end this video with the album that I feel like nobody really thought this artist was going to be good when she left this group. Um, the album I'm talking about is Camila by Camila the Mayo. Um, that album to me was emotional as hell. You know what I'm saying? People like, God damn, I, I was like, is she good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, who hurt her type shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, she, she needed a, she sound like she needed a hug throughout this entire video. God damn, that, um, the track Havana, that shit was fire as hell. Young Thug killed that. Young Thug went off in that one. I ain't gonna lie. Young Thug is his thumb. Is his um thug thizzle, as I would call it. Um But we had tracks like all these years, um, that I feel like was a was a great song. Um 
Havana, like I said, Bop, uh, Consequences. This was that song to me. Consequences was that song on this album. 